Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. Okay, so we are we are still dancing around with the nine-day exponential moving average. You got the twenty-day simple moving average down here, or the middle day, or the middle Bollinger band, as I call it. Um, you basically had a pretty steady march up from late June. And you've seen a little bit of a break, and now you're seeing this, you know, this four-day consolidation uh, right in, in between the nine-day and the twenty-day as we head into the FOMC today at two o'clock. So we're going to get an interest rate decision today. They're going to do a press conference because we can't have an FOMC unless we have a press conference that lays out everything for everybody in incredible detail. So there's never any surprises ever at all. That's my little mini Fed rant. I don't know why we can't all. Wake up in the morning, be sitting around drinking our coffee, and then bam, interest rates. I mean, that was way more fun. This is this is all so telegraphed now. Um, so there's going to be two type. There's going to be it's a tale of two days. You got you got everything going up to two o'clock. Then you're going to have two o'clock on uh, hourly chart. Um, the Bears had a good day yesterday. They defended everything where they had to. The Bulls did not look good. Uh, anywhere above 30 uh, and they ended up selling it off into the close um, we had a good day we didn't trade a ton we had a couple few setups um, nice long and nice short and, and and we covered that overnight we got knocked out uh, on a 15 handle runner and we're flat now and we'll be flat into 930 you can see that we're currently testing the weekly pivot yet again um, so it's Wednesday and we're still trying to figure out the weekly pivot. So it's definitely been a consolidation week. Um, you see the nine day just above, you see the 20 day simple moving average 31.92. And I was saying in the room yesterday, you see the pre FOMC print at 31.96 half from the last meeting. This is the closest proximity that we've had to the most recent pre fed print that I can remember in, in years, literally years. Typically what happens is Fed comes out, we push away or we, you know, in one direction or the other. And we're not talking about 30 or 40 handles. We're talking about a hundred, a couple hundred handles. We've migrated right back to it here going into today. So this should be very interesting. Um, you've got volume weighted average price, 16 half hourly mid band at 18. Proprietary moving average 19, five minute mid 1975. So that 18 to 1975 area is where they just lifted it off of to go up to 26. So 16 to 26, that's your zone that's going to have to get decided into the open today. Uh, don't be surprised midday if they don't stick it on a shelf and just kind of wait till two o'clock. Uh, if it does that, we won't be in the market. We'll just wait till two, and we'll and we'll deal with the volatility then. So here's my 30 seconds on trading the Fed. Don't game the Fed. Don't. Oh, I know it's going to go up. I know it's going to go down. You don't know shit. Neither do I. Neither does anybody else. So just don't do it. Wait for the number. Get a reaction. Upside, downside. Are we making higher lows or lower lows relative to the reaction range? And trade it from there. Why? Well, first of all, it's not like the roulette table. Second of all, at least at that point, you're aware of risk and you know where you're wrong. And you can react and adjust if price is not doing what your trade anticipated price was going to do. And you can make the adjustment, get involved in the other direction and be just fine. But when you come in at you know 159 and go, wow, it's Fed day. Ultimately, we go higher, we just smack it down on the table. If you're right, You'll end up taking it off too early because you know you got caught. You know you, you, you know you you know you know you have your hand in the cookie jar and you didn't get it bit off. Okay, if you're wrong, you're going to get indignant. You're going to add to the trade and you're going to turn you know uh, you know a two minute flyer on Fed Day into some kind of a swing trade disaster. Happens all the time. Don't let it happen to you. So don't game the Fed. Wait for the reaction and trade accordingly. That's what we'll be doing. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. Talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. 
Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.